All right, what's going on guys? Trev back again, here to bring you another video. This one's gonna be doing an overall series review, and this one for sure will be my final video for CBS's television series after three seasons. Show's finished, it's over, there will not be a season four. It did get canceled by CBS after the end of season three. I'm gonna be doing my overall series review on Under the Dome. Okay, so I just finished with my review of the finale, which was uh, The Enemy Within from Season 3 of Under the Dome. Did my review for that, of that episode by itself. And even in that episode, we're, you know, we started talking a bit about the overall series. And that's why I decided I would do this video, because this was a show that I started reviewing. Like when I was reviewing on YouTube, this show came on during the summer. Wasn't much else on. And I decided, hey, you know what? This will be cool. Let's give this a try. And the first season was good. It was good. I was really into it. I was feeling it. We had the pilot. We had the fire. We had manhunt, outbreak, blue on blue, the endless thirst, imperfect circles, thicker than water, the fourth hand, let the games begin, speak of the devil, exigent circumstances, and curtains. I reviewed almost every episode all the way through the first season. The views were good. Started off 13.5 million, ended the season with 12 million uh, in terms of viewers. So that's decent. That's good. That means from the beginning to end, the show did not really dip in terms of interest. Everybody who started off watching it, for the most part, in the pilot, almost everybody was watching it by the end of the season. It was a really solid first season of, of a TV series. And at that point, we weren't sure how long the show was going to go on for. We just didn't know. You know, I, I, at one point, I thought it was one season. Then I heard, no, it's going to be two seasons. And I was like, great, we're going to get more because it's so good, right? Um Especially at the beginning, we had some character deaths mixed in there. We had some really strong characters like Linda and, you know, Big Jim, the rest, uh, Angie and Junior and, and all the rest, all the different characters. And it had a really good mix of survival horror and the sci-fi. So you did not just have a sci-fi show with all kinds of sci-fi craziness. You had the survival part, too, where they're worried about, you know, the endless thirst. They're worried about water. They're worried about these different kind of crazy uh, sci-fi aspects that are coming in, like monarch butterflies, all these all these crazy things that they were going through, running out of food and and just these, these survival horror, um, or, yeah, well, partly survival horror, but also just survival uh, story, which really made it interesting. Interesting, and I did like quite a bit, as well as you had the dome, which was a new feel. We didn't really know what you know what to think of it. Just kind of the dome, and what what is it? A lot of questions. You know what's going on with it. What's going to happen with it? Not sure. And it just was a really great watch for the first season. If I had to pick one season, I think in retrospect, the first season was the best season of Under the Dome, for sure. I think so. Then we got into the second season. We had some big character deaths right off the bat, killing off, was it Linda and Angie in the premiere? I believe so, a double kill. Now that one only premiered with 9.4 million viewers, unfortunately. I'm not sure why not many people came back the next year. I guess maybe the first season as a whole wasn't grabbing enough for people to say, I'm gonna wait and I'm gonna watch this when it comes back. Um, so we had Heads Will Roll with a double death. We had Sam introduce as a character. We had finding out that Big Jim's wife uh, and Junior's mom was not dead. We had, um, uh, you know, all a few different new characters that were introduced in the second season. And we had a pretty good second season. Not as good as the first one. Too many character deaths at the beginning. I felt like they didn't need to do that. And still the survival horror aspect, but then we got more and more into the sci-fi as we went. We had characters leaving the dome and then coming back in. The red door, they would leave. And that was that was interesting to see them leave, come back in, and then they get stuck again. And it's like recycling, kind of. Like we made progression with the plot, then we recycled. And, uh... End of the second season, we get to the point where it looks like the characters are basically leaving. They're going to get out of the dome. We have this Melanie character in that. I don't know. you got some craziness, and it gets more away from the survival aspect, more towards the crazy kind of woo-woo. Um, why is this happening? Why is that happening? Lots of questions. Um, sci-fi part that we saw in the, uh, the second season. So from there on out, it goes almost completely in season three from survival, in terms of survival series, to just 100% kind of, I would say, careless, sci-fi, lazy writing, in my opinion. Um, it got moved to Thursdays, which also hurt it as well, I think. It premiered with 6 million viewers. So, it, you know, the, the show is losing viewers season by season. It's, 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 it's trending downward, and it's not looking good overall. But then the quality, you know, really dived in season three. And by episode eight, 
we only had about 3 million viewers at that point on a big network, which is not enough. It's really not enough. It means not only are people not watching, but people are clicking off when they see the show coming on. They're like, oh, I don't like that. And they're switching stations because CBS should get, you know, a lot of viewers just by itself because it's a huge network and people are watching it, you know, maybe watching the show prior or watching it just generally. So um, we've got, okay, season three begins with move on, but I'm not. So it seems like they're out of the dome, everything is great, and then we find out they're in this Matrix thing, which I love that. I thought it was a great premiere, really enjoyed that. Redux was good too. Then we get into the kinship stuff, and I was just like, oh, I'm not feeling this. I don't like this Christine Price character. I don't like this Ava character. I don't know how to feel about this. There's stuff being thrown in left, right, and center. And it just feels so unbelievable all the way through. And I wasn't the only one who felt so because as we got to episode 8, like I said, it dropped to 3 million, the lowest in the show had ever been at that point. I mean, like 3 million compared to 13 million uh, to where it started. Um so then we go through, we see the end of the kingship stuff. We see a lot of kind of action, but it's not meaningful action. It's a lot of back and forth, nonsensical, just just crap, to be honest. Just like, okay, now we're, we got to rush here. We got to go over there. Okay, we got to rush back here. We got to go over there. We got to do this, and then we got to do that. And then there's this person, and then there's that person. And, you know, this just hectic, chaotic kind of back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. But we're in the dome still, and we've got these characters, and it's the enemy within, and the intro explains the whole thing. And you know, it's just like a 90s show. That's what Jess said. It's just perfect, perfect what she said with that. Then the finale comes up, and it ended... Uh, the, the, it, the ending part, the last half, ended out good as a series. So it did finish off pretty good. Um, but the beginning was not good, and from about episode four of season three to the last episode, all the stuff with the kingship is the weakest of the series, in my opinion, in terms of storyline. It doesn't feel like there's any kind of survival horror aspect to it. It's done way too fast. It The, the pacing is crazy, you know, to the point where it's like, just because it's rapid, frantic pacing doesn't mean it's exciting. You know, you have to... You have to have good writing. You have to have meaningful. You have to have emotion. You have to have ties. You gotta, you gotta have us emotionally, you know, care about each character and what's happening and see them in peril and then see them succeed. And and they just didn't do the right. Uh, they just didn't handle it properly in terms of how they should have. They kind of threw it together sloppily, in my opinion, and they didn't really take their time with it. They weren't as careful as they were in the first season, and they got a little too nutty with the uh, sci-fi aspects of it. A little crazy, done in in like not very good quality. So that's the end of the show. Uh, that's it. Three seasons. Overall, overall, I think there's some good characters in the show. I do think Big Jim, as he's always been my favorite, I'm glad. One thing I'm really glad about, they never killed him all the way through the show. He did make it all the way through, even to the point where he killed Junior. I was happy with him surviving in the end, and he's my favorite character from the show by far. Uh, Dale, uh, Barbie, Barbara, <laughs> uh, good, good character as well too. Did enjoy seeing him all the way through. Thought he was great. Enjoyed seeing him in the show. Did like, did like him in the show all the way through. Happy he survived in the end. Um, oh man, Joe, Nori, never really cared for them all the way through. Never really cared too much. I thought Angie was a good character. Did like Junior quite a bit. Um, Julia was a great character as well too. You know, I was really surprised what they did with her in season two where she went from kind of a character that was just there to one of our prominent, more prominent characters, and I did like that quite a bit. That that did work out kind of well. She kind of replaced Linda in some ways. Um, yeah, I think Linda should have survived throughout most of the show, though. I do think that would have been better because she was another good character that they killed off that maybe they shouldn't have. Um, and, yeah, I mean, that's pretty much it in terms of characters. Everybody else is like, you know, okay, they're in there, whatever, they're part of it. Some of them are okay. Some of them, I, you know, not s such a big fan of, like, Ava and Christine Price and that. And in the end, the show ended up being... Um, okay overall the beginning was great then okay or then good and and finally eh, i don't know so overall you know the show as a whole it was a fun show to watch i did enjoy especially the first two seasons with season one being by far my favorite i was looking at that point i was looking forward to seeing it every week when we got new episodes i was like yes i can't wait to see it and the quality was good the pacing was much better it just felt smoother it just felt more like it made more sense uh, there was some action, fast-paced franticness too, 
but it felt like it wasn't all the time, and they knew when to slow down, they knew when to speed up, the pacing was better, and uh, you know it just uh, it just was much better. So in the end, I mean, season three didn't totally destroy the series as a whole. I can see if a lot of people want to buy this on Blu-ray when it gets released. Big Jim is a cool character from the show. Um, is it a show that I'm going to buy on Blu-ray? I'm not sure. I can't say right now. I'm not 100% sure on that. But, uh, you know, I do have some, some fond memories seeing the show. And I am a little sad that it's over. But I do think that they needed to wrap it up. Because season three, it was just not going in the right direction. And it was if they would have gone on too long, too many people would have dropped it to the point where nobody even... I'm not even sure right now if maybe that's happened. You know, because I've seen a lot of people say, I dropped it a while ago. It just got awful, you know. Um, I stuck it through and I watched most of the end. There's a couple episodes there in season three that I, to be honest, just flipped through real quick. Just watched a few parts of it. And that's basically it. Um... So in the end, I'm going to miss Under the Dome. You know, it probably won't be a series I look at as one of my favorites of all time. But it'll be a series I look at as a pretty solid show that uh, was some fun to watch during the summer when there really wasn't much else on. And it did have some really great characters. Uh, Big Jim, Julia, uh, Barbie being being them. Those will be the ones that I remember the most from the show. And it will be a fun show. I don't know if it's one that I'll ever watch over again. Uh, I don't know if it's worthy of that when there's other shows like Breaking Bad or stuff like that that I could probably watch again and get more out of than this one. But uh, it does have some good parts to it, and it is a unique show. There's really nothing else like it I've ever seen, you know, the, the concept of the dome and also having the horror, horror part in it when they did it properly near the beginning. So there's my overall series review for you guys. In the end, what score would I give this? I would give this like a 6.5 out of 10. It's right on average. It's like an average type of show. If you like the sci-fi parts, if you like the survival horror, then maybe it'll be one that you will you will like going forward. You will remember. Uh, I wonder if CBS will ever touch it again because the finale kind of, it doesn't leave a cliffhanger, but it leaves it a little bit open so that maybe they could do another show with it if they want to. And I'd be interested to see that if they were going to. However, they better do it properly you know they better take it seriously and, and put the effort in because otherwise it's like what's the point you know you got with a drama that's long running you got to do a good job with it otherwise it's kind of pointless anyway write your comments below what you guys thought of the end of under the dome and the series as a whole will it go down as one that you remember that you enjoyed quite a bit or is it just kind of one that started out good and then you just which I was like, this is crap, and dropped it. Or did you think it just wasn't, you know, wasn't your thing, wasn't that good overall, but you stuck it through anyway? Write your comments below. If you like this video, please thumb it up below. If you want to help support the channel, please share, please favorite. And if you're new and you want to subscribe, you can go and subscribe at the bottom left. I review lots of other shows like The Walking Dead, Game of Thrones, Breaking Bad, Better Call Saul, you know, Dragon Ball, all kinds of stuff. That's it for this video, guys. We'll see you again real soon. As always, this is Trev, and I'm saying peace.